Dobrý den, dámy a pánové. A pokračujeme se zkouškou A1. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to continue with our focus on the A1 exam for permanent residents in the Czech Republic. Last time we got here on their website, uh, which is zkouska uh, a1.cz, but then it takes you here with that more complicated uh, address. Anyway, exam preparation is what we're interested in. So, uh, well, as uh, you have seen, there is a practice text, test, practice test, and here you can do it online. So, well, uh, what we looked at last time uh, in a form of brochure or an ebook, a PDF publication, uh, is also here online. So you can do it and have it checked right away. Uh, going back, so uh, we had a look at the model version of the exam, and uh, there is another handbook preparing you for the format of the exam, for the exercises. And I think it's uh, really good. And it's not the only thing that uh, the authors have prepared to help you prepare for the exam. So first of all, uh, looking at this, this should help you prepare. So. First, uh, you have the basic information about the exam, and then uh, reading, listening, writing, speaking, and at the end you can check what you know, or actually what you need to know to be able to pass this exam. Then, 10 rules of the examination, and uh, at the end you have the key. So. Well, all that is in Czech. Hmm. So either you need somebody to help you or Google Translate just to have an idea. Because understanding all this is definitely not what you can do on the A1 level. Okay, so there are some questions uh, about the exam that people might ask first. And then they focus specifically on each part. Uh, the questions here are about, uh, for example, correcting uh, your answers, uh, whether you should write uh, with a pen or with a pencil. So they have collected all these questions and you can find the answers here. Uh, however, uh, then and that's what is good about this. You have some preparatory exercises. So, for example, uh, times and parts of a day, and you need to match. If you have 12, oh, oh, <laughs> then it's midday, so poledne. If you have uh, 9.00, uh, 9 hodin, so B1 is what you need to match. Then, for example, dates or understanding um, classifieds uh, or ads where uh, people are selling or offering flats and what it actually means and so on. So all these uh, exercises and the key is in the back. So if you're preparing for this on your own or well it can also be with a teacher but you can do this on your own to prepare for the exam. And this is done based on the exam, so uh, no extra, maybe useless exercises that would be above the level. Of course, you can learn more, but this should be sufficient. A lot of pictures and a lot of matching or saying yes or no. Well, I don't think I need to go through all the book, but you get the idea. I think it's very useful. And as I said, 
that's not the only thing that the authors have prepared for people who need to pass this exam. So let's close this and go back. And one thing is that there is a group or a page on Facebook Čeština pro trvalý pobyt, zkouška z češtiny pro trvalý pobyt. And here, I'm not sure, I think uh, it might be a, an NGO uh, that's taking care of this or, yeah, yeah, see. Uh, maybe working with the Ministry of Interior and the Ministry of uh, Education. Uh, but I think it's an NGO that's uh, providing all this. So, well, if you join this page, you can uh, stay up to date and they can offer you some, um, well, they, they give you the info about what's new, uh, but there are also some videos and and pictures and tips when you're preparing for the exam uh, and so you can enhance your vocabulary so that's Facebook uh, but going back there is also something on YouTube so let's have a look there again it's called Skoška z češtiny pro trvalý pobyt Ahoj, jmenuji se Alex and when you look here on their videos. So what you will find is uh, the instructions. But you will also find other videos that are also very helpful because uh, they are helping you prepare for the exam. Um, it's uh, Maybe it's based on uh, the preparatory uh, publication, the handbook, uh, but maybe it's something extra. I, I must confess I have not studied all this, but as you can see there are there are a lot of uh, short videos that can help you prepare for the exam. One thing, uh, there are exercises, but there are also situations, uh, dialogues, uh, focused on the basic situations that you should be able to master on this level. So, and that's still not all, but <laughs> that seems to be the end here. So let's have a look what they offer for teachers. Where was it? So for teachers, this is all in Czech. There are some materials. Of course, you can download it yourself if you think uh, it might be helpful for you. First of all, there is the description of uh, Czech for the A1 and A2 level. Uh, if you look at it, it's... Uh, well, a part of it is not really so useful for a student because it's uh, too complicated. Uh, but uh, what you can find there, one thing is just describing the language, what the speaker on this level can and, well, not cannot do, just what you can do on the A1 level, what you should be able to do on the A2 level. Uh, but, uh, well, this again is just describing describing what uh, are the skills uh, you need to be able to do but what you find uh, lower and i've got there now okay so starting uh, chapter four there is uh, actually the vocabulary the words and example questions uh, that you should know on this level. So for uh, here, what is blue is for A1 and what is red is for A2. So you need to know uh, the verb být or, or být někde ve městě. Um, narodit se, zemřít, žít. 
So this could help you prepare or check that you know the vocabulary. So down here uh, it's divided by functions or um, well topics and so that's the description of the A1 and A2 level based on the uh, European framework uh, of languages. And then this is really for teachers um, describing what the A2 level is and uh, some specifics about the Vietnamese speakers, uh, etc. This really is not uh, very useful for students. Um, so there are some recommended textbooks, uh, then some useful links and Sopis Lexicalnych Jednotek. Uh, this is based on the description of the A1 and A2 level and here you can actually check uh, some... find uh, the vocabulary that uh, was in the book. So for example the level A1 and here you have you have the words. It's like uh, an A1 dictionary. The words that you should know. So you don't actually ne need the PDF. You can find it here. Again, teachers, sopis, lexikalních jednotek. Descriptory. Uh, this is also based on the framework, on the description of the A1, A2 level. This is, for example, for reading. Věková um, kategorie. How old uh, the learners are. So if you are an adult and you're interested in the A1, you can see that they have it up to B2. Um, so it's just describing what you should be able to do. So for example for reading, for the A1 level, you understand the main information, uh, you understand the main pieces of information in a form, you can understand some signs uh, at work or in the street, but pictures are helpful. You understand uh, text messages, short emails, and maybe some uh, some news on the internet. Uh, you can look up uh, contact information and main uh, pieces of information in an ad. Uh, you can also find the price, place, or time in a short text, which can be, for example, a business card, um, or a poster, a flyer, or a timetable, menu, or a TV program. And you understand what the police, uh, the firefighters, or the ambulance uh, people are saying. And you know where to find their phone number. So, this is what you should be able to do on the a1 level as far as reading is concerned. And you can save it in a PDF. Well, now this is good. But, well, you can also find this uh, elsewhere. Unfortunately, it's in Czech. Mm -hmm. Now, modelové situace. Here there are 14 topics, 14 uh, areas uh, that you should know, uh, that you should be acquainted with uh, for this uh, exam. Number one, personal details, family and uh, CV. Number two, uh, living or flats, apartments. Three, that's food or eating somewhere. Four, uh, daily routine, five, free time and entertainment, six, work, uh, seven, health, uh, pro, pro health care and health insurance, eight, uh, shopping and services, nine, traveling, ten, education, eleven, um, going to uh, state offices, uh, twelve, uh, meeting the police uh, or firefighters, etc. 
and 13 your surroundings and weather and 14 contact with the majority community and for example bydlení and their for example reading and the level is A1 so you need to understand the information about the number of rooms uh, how they are equipped uh, how big they are and what the price of a flat is in ads uh, concerning a living or accommodation and you understand the basic uh, signs uh, with pictures uh, around uh, where you live, for example, a careful guess or stuff like that. Okay, this may be still not useful or not so much, but we are getting to the part that I think is very useful, and that's view qua video. Quite honestly, I don't know why they didn't put it here under exam preparation, because I don't think this is for teachers, or not just for teachers. Viewkova Videa. So for the level A1, for the level A2. So these are the videos uh, that you found also on, on YouTube. But I think, well, if I remember correctly, there there was more. So, více informací. OK. Hmm. So, here you have the key. But that's still not what I was looking for. So, let's go back. You have the video. If I click on the video... Oh, OK. So, it takes me to the page. Uh, in this case, for example, uh, how to borrow something from your neighbor. Here you have the video, and then mm, there's another. But the great thing about it is that you also uh, have the transcript here. Oh no! Oh, they haven't updated it yet. Well, I hope they will. Because here you had the worksheets. Okay, maybe I should contact the webmaster. Anyway, I hope it will work soon. I think I will send them an email because I thought this was really good. Again, exercises that go with the videos, the vocabulary uh, that you can practice uh, with a key something really great. So how you find it, Viewkova video. And when you click on a specific video, it takes you to this page uh, where you can also find a worksheet or the transcript of what the people are saying. And you can also have a look at the same video of the higher level. So, well, apparently not here right now so you can use this to learn and prepare for the exam or just for life and uh, finally one more thing and that's the archive um, here you can find the older versions of this exam from 2018 17 16 uh, 15 as you can see um, and uh, then the oldest when you look at it, uh, what you find uh, is, uh, I think that they have simplified and made uh, the exam clearer. When you compare it with the, the oldest version, maybe all the exercises uh, weren't so easy or it wasn't so clear what you should do. Well, so that's it uh, about this website and next time we can focus more on the exam itself and how to prepare for it. Have a good day! Naskadano!